What is going on guys? Welcome to tonight's video, I guess. I just had the spur of the moment and energy, I guess, to uh, basically switch up the look on my 1994 Toyota 4Runner. Um, long story short, I got a Hilux Surf style uh, rear, like how trucks have the back swing doors. Uh, the 4Runners, the second gen 4Runners have that as well. So I found one um, at the junkyard that was a tire swing out. So instead of having my tire underneath the car and having a lot of weight underneath it, tire on the back because then it just looks a little bit cooler and uh, I got it for a really, really good price. All right, let's do it. From the last clip that you saw, this is a while later, and that's because this thing right here, I had it on at first, and uh, well, let's just say the body of the Forerunner is paper, and this thing is rock. Hopefully it fell off really quickly. but. I have now got a rivet gun to rivet it on. I was watching a YouTube video of another person sawing the same uh, swing out on his 4Runner and uh, he used a rivet gun and it seemed to work. So I already have holes in this which I'll show you in a little bit. I'm going to make the holes a little bit bigger, I'm going to rivet it in. I hopefully have all the hardware I need, if not, the main reason why I want to put this on is because right now I'm not running tag lights and I have my license plate zip tied and uh, I'd rather not do that. I'd rather have it actually bolted in to this uh, frame here or this uh, swing out. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. So we got our rivets. Uh, we're using an M6 and a M8, I believe. And we have, well, enough bolts to cover this. So now the next step is gonna be drilling it out to the bolt size. And then it's kind of dented. I don't know if you can see, but it is definitely dented on the top side and then on the bottom side, it's dented a little bit as well. So what I want to do is I want to drill it out, put the rivets in, and then I kind of want to pull it out just so that it's flush. 
this is gonna be completely covered by the, um, the shielding. I think I'll just primer it. I just wanna get this swing out on. So uh, we're gonna find out which drill bits match these and then we're gonna go from there. So uh, yeah, let's get to drilling. That should be good. Bud, now to do the outside ones. So instead of doing the rear ones right off the bat, I'm going to actually mount the wing arm to the sides first, and then as once it's swung out and it's you know actually attached, I'll be able to accurately see where the other uh, ones go. The last thing I want to do is make multiple holes, and then as soon as the swing arm mounting points get on, it's going to be you know completely off. So I just want to make you know, one hole that's gonna work, take the swing arm off, rivet that, and be good to go. Oh, Oh my god. Back at it again with another Forerunner special. Shut up, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> so we have these rivets on, and these things are super sturdy. I actually went ahead and did some of the body work, too. So it's not as, <laughs> it's not as bent. It's still bent, but not as bent. This one, you can't even, like, you can even tell it's bent, which is sick. So um, this one right here, that, that one. That one is a M8 and the other one's an M6. So we got two different size bolts, but I think it's gonna work out perfectly. Um, now that I look at it, it looks kind of crooked. Oh, they're all a little bit crooked. Yeah. But it's okay, man, you know, if there's enough crooked, it'll cancel out. I just out don't know if uh, that's gonna be fitting, but. Dude, don't oh. worry, with a big enough bolt and a good enough impact driver, crooked can be straight again. Okay. Just like the Catholic Church style. Oh, I love when it does that. That much. You can't even see this either. All I gotta do is just perfect. Okay, do your impact. Yeah, let's do it. Your head was so fucking close to that. Huh? To this. And I was like, shit. I, fix I can't fix stupid. Oh shit! Oh, you can shit. fix ugly, but you can't <laughs> fix stupid. Oh, I got it. No, I know, but I didn't give you. I was waiting for the. Wait, I, I didn't give you a warning, so I felt fucked up. That's why I held it like this. <laughs> it's not smooth. That's fine. That's why you wear gloves. Yup. That's, that's the metal sharp. Yup. Fucking. Oh, where's the light? Hold on. Show the people at home. This is why you wear gloves. You get a little chunk taken out of the glove and not your thumb. That's if tight. you like your typing and you're loving, you need your thumb. Come on, little guy. Come on, put your strength into it. Jesus Christ. <laughs>
You can, if you put that tucked against your quad, you can pull it both, yeah. <laughs> That's it, it's like... Uh, I said your quad. Tail light confectioner. <laughs> Baby! Oh! Oh, that felt good. I know, that's that's how I got the other one. Got me in the use to how to use this too. You going, you going. Place. You can put so many random holes and so much random stuff and then I'm gonna and cover it, it up! <laughs> oh, the form is so awkward. I, I, I can't get up like that. Maybe. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, no, because my... From snowboarding. Your <laughs> you use your legs for snowboarding. I use all. Are you on all fours? Because that's just. Actually, key. I was doing handstand. That's just pretty cool. That's you don't even need the board. First time, but I'll make sure, I guess. We have the license plate on. All I gotta do now is put the wires together, which I already have them in the inside, so I just have to run them out here so that this tag lights are good. Um, I'm gonna take the spare tire off right now, just until we can find the release mechanism that's supposed to bolt on right here. There's a release mechanism that you hit. Uh, you hit it and it comes out, but it locks it, because right now, you put it off and it will hold but I still would like it to be, you know, not as heavy because this air tire weighs a ton. So we're gonna take it off just so that I can zip tie that together so that this thing don't move. But at least I got tag lights. That's all I cared about. This swing out's on, so I'm super excited about that. That being said, guys, I think uh, we're gonna wrap up this video here. And uh, I'm excited I got this back on, excited that, you know, we got everything figured out. This kind of makes me want to keep the Forerunner now. I think that's what's going to happen. Since I have this swing arm on, I think, uh, I think I'm going to keep it and uh, do a couple more things to it because it's a solid daily. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you guys exactly how I ended up putting the other black door on the Forerunner for the swing out. Um, because this is my old one right behind me. So I wanted to dig a little deeper into how I changed them and what I did so that you guys, it might help you guys. What I ended up doing is all of the connectors that were uh, different because I guess there was a couple connectors that were not the same as far as the pin or like the actual female to male. Uh, I switched them and I integrated it into the new one so that the whole wiring harness was the same and plugged in uh, pretty easily, I guess you could say. So I also ended up taking this out as well. This is the keyhole went for your key to lower, uh, to raise and lower the windows because that's how you unlatch the uh, trunk latch 
on my year four owner. So what I ended up doing is I actually ended up switching the lock from this door to my door so I, I could use the same key that the car that my car came with to be able to lower and raise the window. Everything fit perfectly so it all worked out really nicely. Um, and the main key differences between this door right here, these lights and the license plate obviously is here and then it doesn't have a latch for where the uh, swing out will latch onto so it doesn't have any of that which means that this door was not compatible with the swing arm so I had to take the other door so you guys probably already understand that uh, but yeah so I wanted to show you guys a little bit more about on this uh, everything else though is the same uh, as far as in the back here everything is very similar to the other one. Oh, actually one thing that was very different so this is also a very important point too, is there's a bar usually on these forerunners that go from this hole to that hole. And what it does is it goes all, all the way in. Actually, this is, this is where it mounts right here. It comes down and latches in to these and then it kind of comes out and around. And what that is meant for is when you put the trunk latch down like this and it's flat it has a anchor point underneath the car so that the car is still supporting the uh, latch door even when it's all the way down so this one and the other door actually were different I had to end up uh, switch them out which is was a real pain in the ass but I got it done so if you guys are planning on doing this Hilux surf Toyota OEM swing outdoor just make sure that you switch all those components over um, I had no idea how to do this uh, I just knew that I really wanted to have a tire swing out because I didn't like the tire underneath the vehicle because it gives me more ground clearance when I go over stuff for off-roading even though I don't do that but I will be doing a lot more soon so stay tuned for that but wanted I wanted to show you guys a little bit more on how I switched everything over from this door that I have or the old door to my new door. I do plan on completely repainting the car soon. Um, that's going to be happening probably. Uh, I'm not even going to put a time on it. I just know that's going to happen because I really want to repaint this car. I think after I get the new engine in, uh, that's when I will start doing more interior and exterior upgrades. So. Thank you guys so much though for watching this. I appreciate it. Go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know if this is something swap that you guys would do and if you guys would do it yourselves or take it somewhere to do. So that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, we're getting very close to uh, the big day. I am still trying to get everything in order. So I hope you guys Look forward to the next video. We're just going to be doing a lot of cleanup. We're also going to be packing up. So in next episode, for sure, 100%, will be the episode where we packing everything up and uh, giving you the reasons why we're doing that. So thank you guys again for watching. Appreciate it. Like always, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And join the Ohana. And share this video if you guys would because that would be super awesome and I really appreciate it. So with that being said, see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. And never forget, guys, always stay positive and stay true to who you are. Until next time, shoots!